Hello everybody, this is Dr. Hassan Lawati. Today I'll be talking about amidurone in the thyroid causes. So everybody knows that amidurone is an antiarrhythmic drug. And the issue on amidurone is that amidurone contains a high amount of iodine. And basically 40% of amidurone is iodine. So 40% of the amidurone weight is iodine. And that's why amidurone can cause thyroiditis. Now, there are two mechanisms in which amidurone can cause thyroiditis. And that's why when we talk about amidurone in the we divide them into type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is iodine-induced thyrotoxicosis. And this condition basically happens in people who have iodine deficiency. In type 2, we call it destructive thyroiditis, and this is due to the iodine destructive effect on thyroid gland causing thyroiditis. Now, it is very challenging to differentiate between type 1 and type 2, and the management is different as well. But there are, there are so many features which can make type 1 differ from type 2. Type 1, usually, there is an underlying thyroid disease, whether in type 2, usually people have normal thyroid. When it comes to the thyroid ultrasound, you can't mainly differentiate between them, but in type 1, you may find some underlying thyroid nodule or goiter. In type 2, the thyroid anatomy may be normal. Another way to differentiate is by doing Doppler. Thyroid Doppler will show increased vascularity in type 1, but the vascularity will be absent in type 2 because it's destructive thyroiditis, and we expect that. Now, when it comes to the radioactive iodine scan, it's not recommended to do this scan, but it may help in a way that in type 2, usually the uptake must be low because it's a destructive thyroiditis. Now, when it comes to the thyroid antibodies, type 1, because there is an underlying thyroid problem, you may get antibodies positive. But in type 2, because the thyroid gland is normal, you may not find any antibodies. Now, in type 1, it can it is spontaneous it can spontaneously go to remission. So the treatment is basically to start them on antithyroid drugs to treat their underlying thyroid toxicosis until it goes spontaneous remission. But in type 2, because it is destructive thyroiditis, the only way to treat is by giving the patient glucocorticoid in higher doses to suppress the thyroiditis process. In case, if you couldn't differentiate between them, the best way is to start treating them empirically as type 2 with a steroid and then follow up the thyroid function test. If thyroid function test is improving, it means that you are dealing with type 2. If it's not improving, then probably you are dealing with type 1 and then you need to stop glucocorticoid and continue antithyroid treatment till you get spontaneous remission. So this is basically about an approach to the patient with amidurone and eutherotoxicosis. I adopted this slide from Department of Endocrinology, University of Pisa, Italy. I wish it helped you a lot. If you have any comment, please write them below. And thank you.